friends welcome to my channel today we are discussing here about the lines and angle of chapter 5 for class 7 lines and angles and uh, in this chapter today we shall discuss the question from the exercise 5.3 and uh, in the exercise 5.3 we also solve first the question number 5 so let us see what is the question okay the question is name all the sets of corresponding angle name all the sets of corresponding angle alternate angles interior angle and exterior angle okay students and the figure is given in a the name of the figure is q s and this is the t t is the transversal and the point where the transversal cuts the line q is uh, u the point where the transversal cuts the line s is v and the angles are formed here that is angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 and angle 4 similarly here angle 5 angle 6 angle 7 and angle 8 so that in the given figure we shall find out the sets of corresponding angle sets of alternate angle sets of interior angle and the sets of exterior angle so let us see the first that is the corresponding angle corresponding angles in order to identify which of them are corresponding angle which are alternate angle which one is interior and which is the exterior we need to still remember the definition of all the topics like uh, transversal corresponding angle interior angle exterior angle and the alternate angle without the definition we cannot identify these sets of angle we so that definition of such type question are very important because these question are entirely based on the logic so let us see what is the corresponding angle in the figure we know that a pair of angle which in which one arc of each angle are on the same side of the transversal and the other arc are formed by transversal so the figure shows that angle 1 and angle 8 and the angle 1 and angle 8 we can see that the one line of each angle are on the left side both for the left side. and they are their other angle are formed by the transversal so we can say that angle 1 and angle 8 are the corresponding angle and also we know that where a transversal cuts two parallel line then there are four pair of corresponding angle form and each angle 
are equal in their measure. So that here we can say that the angle 1, angle 8, angle 4, angle 5, angle 2, angle 7, angle 3 and angle 6 are the corresponding angle. Why? Because as we apply the definition, then we can find all the steps of corresponding angle. So here we write angle 1, angle 8, angle 1 and angle 8, angle 4 and angle 5, angle 2 and angle 7, angle 3 and angle 6. So here we have found four pair of corresponding angle R in the figure and they are listed here that are angle 1 and angle 8 are the corresponding angle by the definition angle 4 and angle 5 are also the corresponding angle because if we see for angle 4 and angle 5 we see that one or of each angle are on the same side of the transversal and the other are formed by the transversal so that angle 4 and angle 5 are the corresponding angle similarly angle 2 and angle 7 are the corresponding angle Sorry, here is a little mistake. Angle 2 and angle 6 are corresponding angle, and angle 3 and uh, angle 7 are corresponding angle. In the same, here we can see that angle 1 and uh, angle 5 are corresponding angle, and angle 4 and angle 8 is the corresponding angle because their measure should also be equal. Therefore, now we have the measure of each pair are also equal. Now we can see that the measure of angle 1 and measure of angle 5 are equal. Therefore, they are corresponding angle. Angle 3, angle 4 and angle 4 are same in their magnitude. Therefore, they are also the corresponding angle. So we get the following pair of corresponding angles. Now the next thing we have to find the alternate angle. So let us see what is the alternate angle. In the alternate angle, we know that two non-adjacent angles are said to be alternate angle if in which one pair of each angle are on the opposite side of the transversal and the other arm of each angle are formed by the transversal pointing in the opposite direction. Then they are known as the transversal exterior angle. And two angles are said to be alternate interior angle if in each angle one arm of each angle are formed on the opposite of the transversal and the other angle are formed by transversal and they do not have the line segment q and v so they are the alternate exterior angle so in the figure we can see that angle 2 and Angle 8 are the alternate angle. Angle 3, angle 5 are the alternate angle. Angle 1, angle 7 are alternate angle. Similarly, angle 4 and angle 6 are alternate angle. Because they are non-adjacent and their each side, one side are on the opposite of the transversal and their other are, are formed by the transversal. So that these pair are the alternate angle. So let me write here first. 
angle 1 and uh, angle 7 angle 4 and angle 6 angle 3 and angle 5 angle 2 and angle 8 These are the sets of alternate angles. <coughs> I hope it is clear and uh, there is no doubt. These all whatever we are finding here all are logical questions. And logic comes from the definition. So that in the lack of definition we cannot apply the logic in order to get the given sets of angle. So, you are all recommended to please learn and still remember the definitions of all types of angle and other important topic on which these types of angle are based. So, the next is we have to find Interior angle. So let us see what is the interior angle. What is the interior angle? So let me define first the interior angle. Two angles or a pair of angles are said to be interior angle if they have the line segment UV and also lie between the given line Q and S then they are known as interior angle so in the figure we can see that angle 3, angle 4, angle 5 and angle 6 are contain the line segment UV and also lie between Q and S so that angle 4 angle 3, angle 5 and angle 6 are the interior angle because they have the line segment UV and also lie between the given line Q and S therefore they are the interior angle now the next is we have to find the last that is the exterior angle. What is the exterior angle? Angles which do not have the line segment UV and also do not lie between the given line Q and S that is why they are known as the exterior angle. In the figure, we see that angle 1, angle 2, angle 7, angle 8 are the exterior angle because they do not have the line segment UV and also do not lie between the Q and S. So, we can write angle 1, angle 2, angle 7 and angle 8 are the exterior angle. I hope the solution of the given question is clear to all and if you have any doubt in this question then you can go to the comment section and please mention your doubt in the comment. I will try to solve in my next video. So now let us see our next question. Ok students. The given question is, in the given figure CE parallel to PA, in, this is the given figure and in this figure the first condition is CE, the line segment CE is parallel to BA, that is this line segment CE is parallel to BA, ok? And if angle A is equal to 50 degree and angle B is equal to 70 degree. 
angle A is 50 degree and angle B is 70 degree. Then we have to find at the angle 6, sorry, angle C or angle ACE. So that figure look like complicated, but the solution of this question is very easy. Why? Because here, given that, given C, C E parallel to B A, C E parallel to B A, and here in the figure we can see that A C, A C cuts the line B A and C E at two point A and C. That means the line A C is the transversal. So that here and AC is transversal and here we can see that this is the transversal and there are two angles. Just suppose that this angle is X. Then according to the definition here we can see that the two angles 50 and X in both angles one arc of each angle are on the opposite of the transversal. This is the transversal and here we can see that the line CE is on the upper side of the transversal and AB is on the downward of the transversal. And the other arc are formed by the line AC. So we can see that angle A and angle C are the alternate angle. Okay? And we know that if two angles are alternate angle, then their measure is always equal. Here we have two lines. BA parallel to C E. When BA parallel to C E and the line is which cuts these two parallel lines, then A C becomes the transversal and the one arc of this angle is on the upper side and one arc of angle 50 is on the downward and their other arc are formed by the transversal AC. Then we can say that angle A and angle C are the alternate angle. And the value of the alternate angle are equal. Therefore, if the angle A is 50 degree, then the value of angle X is always 50 degree. Therefore, here we can say that here angle A and angle C or angle ACE A, C, e are alternate angle are alternate angle. Therefore, angle A is equal to angle C and this is equal to 50 degree, which is our answer. So, here we can see that figure it looks like complicated, but its answer is very easy and which are given here. You can see. Okay. So, here it is. They are alternate angle. Therefore, angle A is equal to angle C. If the value of angle A is given, that is the 50 degree, then the value of angle C is also 50 degree and therefore we write angle A is equal to angle C and this is equal to 50 degree. I hope it is clear to all and uh, if you have any doubt, then please comment your doubt. I will try to solve your doubt in the next video. So if you like the video, then please share to other students who can get the benefits of this video. So thank you very much for watching this video.